Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and today we're doing a quick review because, well, I've just got a whole bunch of stuff to do. But today, I'm reviewing the St. Helena Merlot. It's from Chile. It's a 2016. It's a 13% alcohol by volume, and I got it for $8 at Twin Liquors. It's a store here in San Antonio. I don't know if they're a global chain or not. I just know I got a super cheap deal on it at a fire sale. It's normally like $11.50 or $12 or something like that. Anyways, I'm rambling on now. Let's get started. The reason why it's already open is because I'm actually using it uh, to make uh, beef bourguignon in my instant pot. So yeah, <laughs> I know you're supposed to use burgundy, but it's, it's, it's a more low, it's okay. So uh, from a color standpoint, now this is kind of a purple wine. Uh, looks like it's, if I have to take a look at it, I'll say it's young. Now I pour, over poured the sample, but looking at the bottom, oh, you know what? No, I'm changing that. It's a ruby. It is a ruby color. Yeah, with partial transparency, probably about 20% transparency. Um, no artifacts, no cloudiness, so that's nice. All right, from a nose standpoint, um, it, it actually kind of reminds me a lot more of northern Texas uh, vineyards than Chilean grapes. So I kind of get this um, uh, this like pasture element. I'm um, getting like a little bit of plum. It's almost like a almost like a sour cherry element, but there's something else there. I'm trying to. It's almost like a like a hint of leather or something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's like wet leather. Anyway, um, from a taste, it's very juicy. Um, this is a young wine. This is a very young wine. Um, if I if I were you at and I, I had a ball, it's probably hang on to it for a couple years. It, it, it doesn't really feel like it's quite right. Um, it, it just the, the fruit is really like sour and upfront. Um, it doesn't really have like that, that, that kind of pasture element that I was talking about actually comes out in the finish a little bit, but like not in a subtle way of like, oh, that's kind of reminding me that's sort of like the terroir. It's kind of like pasture and that's what you get. And the reason why it comes on like that is that's a really short finish. Like for a red wine, it, it's 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 probably one of the closest cleaning or closest to a clean finish for a red wine that I've had in a long time. Um, hmm. Well, so now I have a dilemma. One, because for my rating on this wine, I'm gonna give you a never again. For eight dollars, like you taste like you should be, I don't know, closer to three. You're way overpriced, way overpriced. So that's problem number one. Problem number two is I put that shit in my food. Yeah, so now I gotta live with it. Who knows, maybe once it cooks down, it'll have a little bit of additional flavor. Yeah, I already have a little bit of a gamey beef in there anyway, so. Ah, we'll see. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you tried the Santa Helena Merlot? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, I'm going to go downstairs and hope my dinner comes out okay. I'll see you guys later.